and you're welcome to try my job with Ola. This is the only show on TV where you get celebrities and influential people in society doing alternative jobs for a day and actually have fun doing it. And today we have that bad boy from Nollywood. I don't know if you can remember him, but he's an old timer. He's tall, dark and handsome. He featured in Ripples, yes, that old sitcom. I'm sure I was like five or something when that was airing. But it was really interesting because he's acted alongside Baba Shoki and Coming closer to you, he was in Keeping Face alongside RMD and Genevieve and also State of the Art. He acted alongside Stella Damascus, RMD, Joker Silva and a whole lot of them. Well, today we have Kepi Ekbeyong Basse and he's going to be trying the job of a bartender for today. So ensure that you do not change that down for any reason. Happy you're welcome with you. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> who's, the, who's the old timer here? Should, should I call you Daddy Kevi, Uncle Kevi, or Have Uncle Have a baby K. boy or sweetheart or darling or something. Really? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's this old timer thing about? No, but, but you're not particularly new school now, are you? What do you mean new school? What's old school? <laughs> Look, well, let me do my work, all right? Okay, so, so give me some time and let me have that fun for today. So what are you looking forward to learning today? Uh, already, um, this is Martins. Uh, he's my co-teacher because the original teacher is this young man here. He's called <laughs> Valentino. And just before you came on, they've been showing me the general routine. They got here by 7.30, but I got not too wow. long out here. They come in Mufti, then they change you to this uniform, but I'm not getting paid to get endorsed. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. And um, we just went through the fridge, we checked what they, what they call, what they call um, some reconciliation first. Okay. For the drinks, find out whether that's ready for the day. Okay. Now we're going to start cleaning the glasses and prepare for you guys when you come in. Okay, I'd like to see you make a cocktail. Uh, Not see, yet. Which is, which is my favorite. Yeah, hang on. Which is my favorite. <laughs> um, pina colada. Uh -huh. You heard that? Yeah. Pina colada. <laughs> and pizza is very nice. It will be. Because I'll be tasting it for real. Yes, please do. And if do, you don't me. get it right. I get to miss out on my lunch. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. So enjoy your job for I today. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I should hold the glass. I should just hold the bottle. Bottle. I can do the bottle. How many holes are there? Hmm? Valentino Hall? Glasses for two. So I should clean it. Hmm. Well, I deal if I whack you slap. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. I'm uh, well, praying for that. What do we do this time? Okay. Over you. here, I guess. I want to go and bring the ice cube. Okay. So we'll wait for that. So because she asked for pina colada, um, so my ice block will be coming here shortly. In this place of time, um, I will play the role of supervisor <laughs> and what, uh, and I'm going to try and do it myself. So I'm going to learn the process on the job. <laughs> because, because, because she was the very first customer, we're not very ready for her. Um, the, the ice cubes are just coming in. So we'll give us five seconds and we're done. Ice cubes. Ice cubes are come. If I wasn't working, I'd probably be doing justice to this one, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's tempting to, to hold a bottle like this and not do anything but serve other people with that. Right, so this is bad. <laughs> Alright, so. I come. The 
Foucault. Like that? Okay. Point to the upper class. No, no, no. Same shaker. Okay, the shaker first. One. So, what if I do this? What if I just this? That's a good button. I good. No, 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 no. I have to make sure my customers are happy. That's good gene. Ah! <laughs> Next. <laughs> They just reprimanded me, they said I shouldn't do your duty. Into the same glass. I can taste it too. I shouldn't mix. You don't have to taste it before you get drunk. Imagine if I have to do this to everybody. Into the shaker, a bit. And what else? What's this one? What's this one? This is triple sec. What's it? What kind of drink is it? Rum? So this is some rum. Okay, done. Don't okay. Miss it. So, the cream. Go into a bit of it. What quantity goes into this? What quantity? Hmm? Oh, okay, measure with this. Measure yeah. two. Two. Two of this. So, before you got to know this, did you have to go through some workshop? So, like were you were you taught how yeah. to do this? Yes, we have a professional barman. His name yeah. is Frank. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so I work with them. Yeah, yeah. Put some of this. Yeah. Orange juice. How many? Put one more. Only one. Yeah. Okay, because this is almost done. And a whole lot of drink. Like it's <laughs> 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 and you shake your till the eyes is not Are you serious? Yeah. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Still making noise. Then when this hand gets tired, you can change. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to be in front of you if this thing should go. I can basically fly open. It's still making noise. It's not done yet. It's almost ready. We're supposed to shake it down so the cube stop bouncing off each other. Right? Yeah, this is a cocktail filter. Huh? You see? This is a cocktail filter. Uh-huh. Since you are tired, you can't shake anymore. Uh-huh. I'm not tired though. Still want to shake? No, you shake now. I mean, I watch you. <laughs> as long as it turns out right. Yeah. That's too full now, isn't it? Then. You want to test? Yes. That's a little. Test for yourself, yes. Not from the guest couple. Yeah, mm, not wrong. Is that what you do? Yeah. Like that? I didn't taste it. <laughs> yeah. So when you taste it, what are you looking out for? You're supposed to, as a funeral mama, you're supposed to know the taste of it. So what, what are you looking out for? What do we look out for? You check if the cocktail is... If it's smooth? Yeah, it's and smooth. if it's creamy enough, or what else? If it's, the taste is actually out. So what do you think? It's okay. I think there's too much alcohol. And there's not too much alcohol. Yeah. Throw, throw this one away so we don't wash it and rinse it and put it back. <laughs> is that all? So, get this straw. This straw is too long for this. 
So where's my guest? Madam, your, your drink is ready. Oh, really? Yes. Um. That is nice. I do hope you I got hope it so right. Yeah, I think so. I think, I mean, this is the... It looks really good though. Why? What, how would you know? It looks good. I haven't tasted it. How would you know? I was taught to pray over anything I eat, so I'm going to pray over this just in case. In case, in case <laughs> I, what, I added a last no. dose of love, no, no, some no, no, love no, no, portion no. in it. Being that, okay, you have a good chain on here, so I assume you got it right. Anyway, I have to be seen. Pray that what? Bless this drink, oh Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Let's look at this now why you pray though. My love portion is stronger than my mix. Okay. No, stronger. Nice. Nice, of you. Yeah. It's quite stronger. Yeah, stronger, eh? I mm -hmm. thought so too, but I. But okay, guys, it's time to have lunch with Kepi and Valentino. You're still on to try my job, and you get to find out more about Kepi and where he's been all along. Do not change that dial, we're still trying my job is over. Okay, now we're here at Ditchil's Hein for lunch, also known as Lounge 38. And Kepi's all obviously enjoying his meal. <laughs> his house is full right now. But seriously, how was it, generally? All right. This sounds like a deliberate attempt to make me lose out on my meal. It was fun. It was fun. Thanks to Valentino, yeah? <laughs> I come to appreciate the truth about that. Okay. Labor is really expensive. And labor should be compensated. Mm. And there should be no level of discrimination against any labor. Okay. This young man here will resume work. You know, besides this young man, will resume work. Seven forty, so they have to get here early and seven forty. Wow. They need to come in, clean up the place, okay. clean up their tools. You know, um, go through their stock and make sure they have enough for the day. Okay. And change it to the uniforms and then work. And then depending on the volume, like I said, sometimes they work to six a.m. Yeah. the next day. Wow. So you work for like twelve hours. More than 12 hours, we're looking at 24, 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah, that's first true. Instance. And if, unfortunately for them, they, they, they seem to have to do the morning work as well, they don't stop. So they don't break in 48 hours for them. So uh, we need to respect the fact that even though we take the benefits of the waiters, that they have meaningful contribution towards their families. That is the major reason behind trying my job. So that next time you go to the bar, you treat the barman with a lot more respect. Yeah, it's not just the power, everybody. Everybody, um, yeah. Look at it this way. The um, security man stands through the night. Okay. The, the door tender stands all through the session. Yeah. So everybody, everybody contributes to valuable service. So not valuable, invaluable, because without them, the entire system will go through. I mean, look at him now. I was just going to ask him, he's young, he's 24 years old, he's 23, 24. And, um, in a couple of years now, we we'll expect that we'll get married. Yeah, that's but then, but then he doesn't have a social life. But you see, but you see, but you see, you don't have days off. I have a day off. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, okay. So that's good for you. Hmm? And you can't combine two jobs with that stuff. Mm -hmm. You can. Okay, but is your salary enough to to cater for you, your girlfriend, and your family? Does it meet your basic needs? When I was a student, there was one of those friends. Perfect. So no, for now, in particular, I have, I have to manage it. You have to maximize. But I have to plan myself out. So I believe it will be able to do so. I think I can do it. I think my salary, what I'm doing, I'm going to plan. Valentino, are you looking at one day running your own lounge or something? Yes, of course. You know, you know while we're talking, while we're working at 
falar, mas os ácidos que vêm na alma, a mente do estofo, é que o olho não vai lá, e não vai chocar o fruto. Mas eu digo que não tem anything, eu não sei anything, eu não sei estofo, eu não tenho expertise para dizer isso. Então eu voluntiado, you know, from experiences of my friends who run bad, my comes. And um, one of the major difficulties, I think, bad owners are confronted with on the, um, basically one is uh, bad staff. Okay. When they steal their own drinks, sell the drinks off to customers, okay. the bar loses, the customer is happy, sometimes the prices are discounted. So the bar is selling a bottle of champagne for 25,000 naira. And the young man steals one bottle of which he buys for seven thousand naira uh, somewhere in a combo. <laughs> he sells that at fifteen thousand uh, naira. He's making a hundred percent profit already. True. You know, so for that, that is seven thousand naira uh, per bottle. Yeah. You know, and some people go away with it, like, depending on where they work, go away with a hundred and fifty thousand uh, naira. Wow. Yeah, wow. Does it happen here? So how 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 do you ensure that doesn't happen? Okay, you're the barman. Mm -hmm. uh, I should be asking you about how we ensure that that doesn't happen. But really on your own, how do you ensure that? You try to be loyal. You have to control that we use to maintain our stock. Okay. And as you can see, the camera already. We can't even take it. They can't bring it into the air. Okay. And the camera that will put in the camera is open to the house. Okay. So I believe the staff here will know how to do it. Okay. We don't enjoy the same thing, such kind of acts, because if you are caught, you will be eliminated and you will be eliminated. It's a shameful thing, so you don't have to do it. Okay, so are you, are you not doing it because you don't want to get caught, or...? Because that's what you want. Because I know one day I own my business in a safe. Yeah. If somebody else has that to me, I feel bad. Okay. Because you are paying the person to do the job. Yeah. So if you are paying the person to do the job, you are such acts. So that's it. Okay. Anyway, let me tell you this, uh, I really appreciate what you've done, and from now on, I'm going to be more polite. I think I'm playful enough, I think I'm polite enough to service people, but I'm going to be more because of my experience I've shared with you today. You know, quite um, engaging, and quite enlightening as well, you know, and I've come to appreciate that. Um, maybe I'm lucky to be where I am. <laughs> yeah, because you guys do a whole lot more work than most of us on the outside realize. So congratulations, keep it up. When I grow up, I don't want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can too much work. Yes, Lily. Back to you. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. um, the first place you came, as in the first time you stepped this place, what do you think about this place? How old is uh, Tajay now? Three years now. I've been coming here three years. I've been coming here. I haven't been regular. But I've always been here in the space of time. In three to four years. I can't remember what my first time experience was. I think first and foremost, what um, normally and naturally drives us out is the novelty. So it was a new place at the time. And we always, um, somehow I think it's the adventure with men rather than women to sometimes find some comfort on the outside after a hard day's job. So I strolled in here. Coincidentally there was some 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 activity you guys had here. We had to wear Afro wings and stuff like that. Some events brought me here for the first time. It was quite interesting though. It was nice, we had good food. It was much fuller than tonight. It was crowded because there were a few more Nollywood practitioners. There were more actors and so on and so forth. So it was fuller and um, your colleagues at the time were all over the place trying very hard to catch up with our demand because it's very difficult to attend to actors. You know, we seem to command our time and space. You know what I mean? So sometimes we become rather impatient. But you guys were nice. What do I think you can do to improve it? Well, well, are you explaining for consultancy? No, no, no. I think, I think, I think, I think what 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 it means to say is um, how this new experience with him is, mm -hmm. and what what um, what they need to do to make it more walkable. Mm -hmm. What I'll say to you basically is that everywhere we go to, basically anybody, what we want is prompt service with a smile, and even if the service is delayed, you can find time to be 
it's not just some kind of trust or relationship, you know? It's like like going back to it's like your prison like a prisoner going back to his cell, you know, you miss it after a while. Because even though it might be uncomfortable, there's something you get used to. You know, if I get used to coming out here because you guys are prompt with your service and there's always a smile, I might still prefer here to be your going around. So I just think you guys should be um, to, I think you should like, um, establish a personal relationship with the customers. When I come in, you call me by my name, I feel at home. And then sometimes you get used to the fact that I do a particular brand, you ask me if I want my particular brand when I come in. And um, um, it's not very good for business, the credit line should also be established. <laughs> but, but it helps too sometimes, you know. Uh, because some, some new places are so strict that sometimes um, when you demand for settlement, it, it chases the customer away, even if it has more than enough. So it's a polite service, basically. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll be watching your movies. Since you were a baby. Like, yes. Yeah. Like I watched them on Cold Blood. Cold Blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what challenges have you faced in this Okay. Um, I started out in the movie industry as a producer. I produced the second film in Hollywood. It was um, at the time the time was doing Hebrew language films. So I did one. Um, then was it was it rattlesnake. No, it wasn't rattlesnake. Okay. Oh, that was in the second movie. Yeah, Brad Tuesday came after my movie. Okay. My movie was about the Usuka system. Mm. The system segregation amongst the evils because of some castes. You know? We called it the unforgiving sin at the time. I seen the movie. Yeah, it took us time to put together because we wanted a detailed uh, reflection of the happenstances. So that was the first time we brought Zach Oji on. That was his very first movie. That was mm. the first time I came over. I was working with Bashir Tofa then. And that's where we started the process. So he came to my office. He came and he brought him. And as soon as I saw him, I knew he was a character, my lead character. That was his first time on television. <laughs> and I kept telling him, Zach, man, you're going to be the biggest thing because you're cutting across so that. Now, one major problem we have with most actors and most professionals is that they come in feeling they know already. Mm -hmm. You understand? Nobody believes they know less. They think they know too much. So they're not willing to learn. So before they come into the industry, they come in and they place a ceiling on themselves already. So they're not ready, they're not malleable. You can't move them. You can't help them appreciate. You can't help them realize their potential. That's one major difficulty most practitioners have in the industry having to deal with people who have bloated egos and in my case I came to the industry knowing that I had to learn all the way okay. you know I came in um, on that time it would be all too too late so to speak and it made me realize that you could do it if you work towards it and that principle applies to all sectors of life if you invest time capacity build you, you allow yourself to know that there's so much more to know there's every tendency that you will go but if you come in feeling saturated and full, then there's no space to absorb or take in anything else. So your first challenge you face is having to contend with people who feel they already know everything. And then you actually see them. You see it in their lifestyle, you see it in their acting, you see it even in, 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 in the way they relate with other people. You know what I mean? So you need to be able to, as a producer, the producer of every job is like the manager. It's like the role of a producer is that of an administrative manager. Someone who recruits um, all resources to ensure that his business grows. That's what a producer is, basically. The director is the technical head of every set. The director translates the concept from the scriptwriter, so to speak, into reality. And that's why at the end of every film or every job, they say it is the director's production. This production is being directed by Kingsley or Moefe. He might not be the producer, but this is his job. Yeah, because that's this, my is, this is his interpretation. If you have 10 storylines, and you have 10 directors, you end up with 10 films. Because they're bringing a bit of their own into the job. You know, so you have 
the stories might be the same, but the approach. Be yeah, the execution would naturally be different. Now, you need to understand that because of these subtle differences, they're about to be challenged. How do we overcome that? One, get on top of your game. Study. I mean, I have my master's degree is about your age. I finished my master's in rhetoric. My first master's in New Lag was in 1989. That's about how old you are now, 23, 24 years ago. Yeah. So I studied. And uh, sometimes a lot of people think you're being arrogant. Yeah, really. But you know, we need to be hungry for information. We need to be able to consume as much as you can. So once, once you study, it, it grounds you. Okay, so so you know you know some some amount of information. New information comes in every day. Okay, so you need to open yourself to the new information. Yeah, you need to learn. So that's first and foremost, you need to capacity build. Then you need to be patient enough to integrate because um, that's that's what takes you to the next level. Well, Kevin, it's been fun having you on this year. It's, it's been really fun. I've had a great time. I'm sure that the time. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for making our time for us. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. And a huge thank you to my director, none other than Kingsley Ogoi. He's really a wonderful director. To the guys behind the camera, you guys are just too much. Thank you very much. And to me, more my stylist, Imo Michelle Ogo. You've been a darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Zipis Collections for the clothing, for the beautiful outfits. And a huge thank you to the Shields Hind, also known as Lounge 38. They have been very nice to us. Food, drinks has been on them, and you know, we can't thank them enough. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you same time, same station next week. Bye for now.